Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Jay and this is Jay and the Cheritas Thrifted Thicket Cottage. And I just want to say thank you so much to all of those who have subscribed to my channel. It's been like, I don't know, like maybe a year or a year and a half, maybe even two. We just got to 500 subscribers. So um, I'm beyond thrilled. Uh, I love making videos for you all and I'm just so grateful for everyone who likes comments. Um, I love when you comment and we engage together. It's just so lovely to hear you all and um, to send you so much love and appreciation. Um, and of course, if you're subscribing, I really am so thankful. Um, so today we're going to do a little bit of decorating. I um, I'm making just some simple switches, uh, moving some newer shelves out and other shelves in, um, bookshelves. I actually just got an amazing set of encyclopedias on Facebook Marketplace for free. Uh, there was someone doing an, an estate sale and nobody bought the encyclopedias and like Encyclopedia um, Britannica. And I've been looking for encyclopedias for a long time, mostly to fill up my shelves upstairs in my um, reading room. But um, I actually already filled them up with vintage and antique books and I like the setup up there, so I didn't wanna touch that. But I just couldn't give up these um, this encyclopedia set. So I brought them in and then I didn't have enough space for them so I actually just switched out a different shelf that I was planning on switching anyway and it gave me some room to um, put those away style up a new shelf I actually really like that setup a little bit more it's a little bit more moody um, perfect for this upcoming fall season so uh, I want to do that
Okay, and now uh, I also want to share a little thrift haul with you. Um, a couple of these pieces I've actually brought in um, a few weeks ago, but I don't think I shared them. So I'm going to share them now and then some other pieces that I've just picked up from um, estate sales, Facebook marketplace and go to will. So I just want to let's get started. I'll start with these because that encyclopedia set, it was three different encyclopedia sets. Um, so those were free and there were still um, a lot more paintings in the in this in this estate sale that hadn't been purchased um, and other stuff. So um, I really wanted this this other piece, but it was it was a little too pricey and I was like rushing to work and it was pouring rain. Um, so and I didn't realize that I would that there would be more pieces. So she was like, hey, if you want to look around, um, you know, feel free to take something, make me an offer. And, you know, and I appreciate you taking the, the free encyclopedia set. I love oval frames. I think they're just so special. Um, and I don't often see these in um, in thrift stores. It's, it's a lucky day if I find them in thrift stores. So this is by the artist Belize, I think. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that the right way. Um, but Belize... Um, I think they're original. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but this little cute set of oil paintings signed. Um, I think one of them has, I don't know if that's like a little scratch mark, uh, but the back of it is this really nice green silk. Um, you know, I thought that these were great, so I don't actually know where I'm gonna put them yet but I loved them. So I said, you know what, I'll take these. And then I went around the rest of her home. Um, oh, and this, this, uh, this darling little, um, I guess it's a print. I have to clean it. Um, but it's a print of, you know, some fruit, uh, and wine and cute things like that. I loved the shape. Um, this kind of like octagon shape is really sweet. I don't really see that. And I thought this would be great somewhere in my kitchen or my dining area. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but I loved this piece. So I took those three um, art pieces. And in her dining space, um, she had a collection of copper utensils that her mom used to hang up um you know in the kitchen and I just thought they were so darling I love copper and I love to decorate with copper in my kitchen so I also have to find a space to hang these up but I, I just loved that they you know have that little like hanger um handle um and they're just nice and worn and beautiful. Um, and that also came with this little trinket. Um, is that what it's called? A thrivet. A thrivet? Yeah. Uh, you know, also copper. I have to clean it up. Uh, she said her mom used to hang it up um, instead of like using it as a trivet. Um, and I thought that was just so sweet. You know, she was like, if you know, take, take this with them. Um, and then a little, you know, bowl, a little catch all that I can throw jewelry in or make a candle out of. Um, so for all of this stuff, um, I think I, I, I felt that. <laughs> so I felt bad that. I made like a $20 offer on those oil paintings and she was like, oh, okay, like 20 for two. Um, and I was like, you know what? Like, let me look around and then I'll make you an offer. Um, and I, I grabbed all these pieces and I was like, would you take 50? And that's actually a lot more than I usually pay, but I don't, I just felt bad. Anyway, and I got all of those encyclopedias. So if you count the encyclopedias, 
and all this stuff that's worth it um and she was like absolutely thank you and thank you for taking all those books so that was an estate sale on facebook marketplace that i found um so those were really sweet I also got this on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I've been looking for brass horses. Uh, I, you know, I think either for the reading room or, I mean, I do, like over time I've collected some horse stuff. So a horse brush, an antique or vintage horse brush, um, a horse, like riding helmet. Uh, what else do I have? A horseshoe. And um, I have this like, you know, print of a horse that I really want to find the right frame for. And so I saw this um, for $8. It's, it's kind of small and a little pricey, but I just really wanted it um, for my little horse collection. So I picked this up um, and I'm really excited for this little guy. Also on Facebook Marketplace, I know um, like summer is coming to an end, um, but I saw these um, kind of really heavy. I don't think they're as old, but I just loved the cow and the yellow and blue um, print on these, like the scalloped edges. So a set of four of these for 15. Um, you know, I'm not sure if I'll switch out my plates right now or yeah, maybe for like the, the, the last month of summer, I could do that. But these I just thought were really great or I could eat off of them, of course. Um, they don't have a, a vintage marking on them. It actually just says made in China. So they're definitely not old, maybe like a reproduction of old, but I just loved the scene on here. And I thought those were, um, really, really sweet. And I don't know, maybe I'll find a place to hang them up or just use them um, for the rest of this summer. And of course, all the other summers to come. So I thought that was um, really cute for a set of four. Uh, the other thing that I actually have hung up two of these already um, on Facebook Marketplace, I found a set of three little dishes um, I do love green as well. I love like all, <laughs> I love too many colors. Um, I love yellow, blue, red, green, like just all the colors of the sun, um, of the rainbow. Um, so I picked a little set of this up, I think for like $8. Um, I loved like just the detail here. So I keep little lemons in here, but this is so versatile. I could use this, but I really wanted them for, um, to hang up those little green ones. I think the shape is so interesting. Um, so that's why I really picked it up in the first place. And um, I just love how they look um, up on my kitchen wall. What else? Okay, and then now um, a couple of Auction Ninja finds. Um, I do a lot of estate sale shopping on Auction Ninja and I got a huge set of wooden spoons and wooden, um, you know, like wooden utensils that I wanted to fill my crock up with. Uh, and it was $7 for a huge set, like just a, like a, a bunch of random lots um, for kitchen stuff. So I, I thought for $7 I could pick out what I wanted. Um, so I did get those and that let me show you they're styled <laughs> it's actually like so much more than i bargained for um i have this antique crock that i picked up at the mongrel market it's a flea market in bridgeport um i love this little crock um it's nice and old and vintage um i think i paid ten dollars for this and slowly i've been just filling it up with um wooden utensils and I just saw this huge lot of wooden utensils things like this that I hadn't had before and I you know paid for it and just got a bunch of stuff now it's like really full and I really don't need any more wooden utensils at all um but 
I was, you know, really happy about that. So um, it might even be a little bit too full. I have to, you know, figure that out. But um, I love seeing this and using it. Um, and then in, in that lot as well, there was this cute little chicken or hen or rooster. I don't know what it is. Um, but it's a little, you know, pot. You could put coffee pots in, I don't know, tea bags. Um, I'll probably put tea bags in here um, or something else. Um, the only thing that's unfortunate it has a tiny little chip here, but I think I'm just gonna paint over that. Um, and I have another little chicken that I bought at an auction sale last year. So this is its little friend. Um, I love chick. I love farm animals in my kitchen. I just think they're so sweet. Um, so I was happy to get that. And speaking of chickens, I'm not sure if I found if I shared this with you guys, but this is also um, an auction ninja find. Um, it's an egg basket, obviously, <laughs> um, in the shape of a chicken. And I just think this is so funny. Um, you know, like. Someone took like a sponge or something and just made this. Um, and it reminds me of like an antique chicken basket, which are pretty pricey if you, you know, look for them. Um, like those French chicken baskets are, are kind of expensive. So I saw this for $5 and I just had to have it. Okay, and then stopped at Goodwill the other day and um, picked these up, uh, these little pots um, on a pedestal for $3 each. And I just thought they would be great on the fireplace, um, you know, for switching out, maybe for fall decor, maybe putting some pumpkins in here, or I don't know, hydrangeas. Um, in the in the in Christmas, maybe I could fit a little like two little tiny trees in here. So I just thought these were cute, and I I really liked the color and how dark they were. They are. And then I saw this platter, um, which was half off for six dollars. It's a huge platter. It's not old. Um, it's made in Oregon, Oregon, Harry and David, but I loved, you know, I love the cream um, and I can never have too many platters, um, especially when the holidays come around. Um, I have a wonderful, wonderful, large platter for my turkey, but I love using platters for serving wear. Um, so I actually have a lot some are floral and have something i don't have a cream one and i feel like i'm always just missing a cream platter so I, when i saw that i was like oh i have to get this um and that's my little thrift haul uh, i hope you enjoyed that and i hope you stuck around to see you know how i style up that little bookshelf so actually i should tell you this bookshelf i bought on facebook marketplace it's not old it's a pure one um i guess kind of you know pure one doesn't exist anymore but i loved the black handle on it um and that i didn't have to paint it it was it's a nice dark color it has that teak you know the the dual tones on it so i love that i didn't have to do much to it and that it had like you know closed doors with mirror with uh, windows so that was also a Facebook marketplace find um, and I'm obsessed with it. So I actually really love it. Um, but anyway, I so, but anyway, I so appreciate you um, sticking around to look at this haul and to watch me style up this little, this little condo that I'm trying to turn into a nice cottage. So comment down below, like, share, subscribe. Um, and I'm, uh, Lecherita and I are so grateful for you for supporting us. Thank you. See you next time.